We've got the 2021 Subaru Crosstrek and we'd like to thank Doc Stetter Subaru for lending us this vehicle to review. Now, last year they updated this with a new engine and a new trim and ever since it's been an absolute smash hit for Subaru. We'll get in and we'll tell you why. All right, Andrea, we're in the updated Subaru Crosstrek, the best-selling Subaru in Canada. Now with two engines, what's under the hood of this one? A 2.5-liter four-cylinder with a CVT. It has 182 horsepower and 176 pound-feet of torque. The base engine is a two-liter version. It's got 152 horsepower and 145 pound-feet of torque. And of course, they all come with Subaru's symmetrical all-wheel drive system. So this was updated just last year and it's been an absolute smash for Subaru because in my opinion, they fixed what needed to be addressed and that's a larger engine. Yeah, what a difference. I think that this should be the engine of choice for <laughs> Subaru. You stole my line. That's what I've been saying. Ever since I drove it, I'm like, yep, this so is the good. one. This is the one you gotta get. Yeah, it's too high, it's too upright, you know? No power seats in this, Drea. No power seats. I was just <laughs> adjusting a little bit here. I do miss them. Yeah, there's some things that you don't get, but when we get to the price of this thing in a little bit, I think you're going to be impressed. Actually, yeah. that's what's coming up. We have the price pause. We've got our hot topic, questions, coffee, and cars. For your consideration yeah. and a whole bunch more. But right now, let's get into the key standard features of the Crosstrek. The Crosstrek base model comes with a 6.5-inch touchscreen, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto, cloth seats, six-way manual adjustable driver seat, EyeSight driver assist technology on the CVT, halogen headlights, power adjustable foldable and heatable door mirrors, a spare tire, and 17-inch wheels. Pop quiz, Andrea. What's that? How many videos do we put out a week? Five. Actually, that's 10. We both did it. No, it's five. Uh, we do this, which is the couple car review every Wednesday. On Saturday, we drop another couple car review. On Monday, it's the live show. If you have any questions about new vehicles. On Tuesday, it's always a comparison. And on Friday, it's some cool classic or collectible car. And you want to find out when the videos are going to drop, the behind the scenes, all of that on Instagram. It's motormouth underscore Andrea. And for me, it's motormouth underscore auto. And the links are below. This video is brought to you by CarCost Canada. Get the dealer's cost, list of rebates, plus discounted interest rates. Use the promo code MOTORMOUTH to become an expert member and get extra searches. The link is in the description below. We've got the outdoor trim and it is the first model that gets the 2.5 liter engine. You in the US get the Sport. It's available on the top two trims only. And this outdoor trim has got dark gray accents throughout. It has 17 inch dark gray wheels and I think it looks pretty cool. Yeah, so they changed the front a little bit. The cladding down the side is a little bit thicker. Yeah. It's meant to look a little bit more robust and rugged. All of them have the same ground clearance at 220 millimeters, which is one of the major selling features of Crosstrek period, is even though it's kind of feels like you're driving a car, you yeah. get a bit of that utility vibe, and it is capable of doing some good off-roading. Uh, in addition, the difference between um, the outdoor, the sport, and the top limited trim, is some you know accoutrements in the inside, like you get the leather seats, you get the sunroof that's missing on this one. Yep, and this one has yellow stitching. On the limited, you get the orange. You also get an eight-speaker Harman Kardon sound system, and it also gets this eight-inch touchscreen. We have this on the outdoor trim as well as the limited now one of the things is with this one you get the bold sort of goldy yellow accent yeah they used to have orange um, on which do you prefer well I like this and you know what I like about this outdoor trim are the all-weather seats yeah. in here it's this really nice soft material it makes for a very comfortable seat quite plush in the limited trim that's where you're gonna see leather seats so a bit of a difference there now, some people will be resistant to this faux leather or pleather uh, covering. I'm here to tell you it's very soft, yeah. it's very comfortable, the seats are really supportive and comfortable, and it's meant to wipe down.
down. So, you know, the outdoor kind of vibe around Subaru, yeah. they're embracing it. You take your dog to the dog park, your dog jumps in the back seat, you can wipe it down easily. That's what they're going for. This really reminds me, the seats and the material of the Land Rover Defender that we were in. Mm -hmm. Kind of similar in that way. And same kind of idea for people who are going on adventures and are outdoorsy. One up from the base model, there's a lot of value there. You get the auto start stop, keyless entry, the heated steering wheel, heated front seats. And one thing about Subaru is they offer three models with a manual transmission. So a lot of people complain, oh, I can't get a small SUV with a manual. Well, this is it. Now, there are yeah. some differences, though. You don't get the advanced EyeSight safety suite with the manual transmission. All of the CVT equipped cars get that. And also, the torque split isn't automatic, of course. Mm -hmm. It's locked 50-50 front to back. But for those diehards that want a manual, it is available. And in the U.S., it's available on two trims. One thing that's exclusive to this outdoor trim is that you get the front view camera. It's a 180 degree angle camera and it shows you everything in the front. That's designed for going off-roading so to be able to see over objects and things while you're driving. Yeah. Um, not in the US though. They did equip it for the Canadian cars. Now the outdoor, the sport trim gets the X mode. Yeah. That's the next level traction and stability control system that improves the ability to get the, the all-wheel drive system to work and that's once again on this trim. Everyone waits for it halfway through the video. It's time for questions and coffee. Time now for questions, coffee and cars. Your questions from Instagram. How is the back seat space? Does the back seat area have any of the modern features like USB charging ports or any other options for charging devices? No, Zach and I were just back there. There Making is out. no offering. <laughs> There's no offering of any sort of charging USB. No. This is a tweener. It's between the small uh, SUVs and a compact SUV. And that's why it's one of the reasons it sells so well. It's just, just right size. It's the Goldilocks. Love the fact that Subaru offers manual transmission, but I'm reading the details above. This is on Instagram. And it's only offered in the base engine. Why? I'm not a fan of a CVT. Also, can Crosstrek be used for towing? So it tows up to 1,500 pounds, and you are right. It is only available on the base model. I can see the future, Andrea. My prediction, I, I, I don't know this, I'm just guessing, um, but based on my expert knowledge, yes, <laughs> I predict this is going to be the engine. I think I so think, though, too. when they redo this again, they'll just, this will be it. And I they, think unless, so. Unless there's just a base model, just for price. Could be. Yeah. I mean, it does bring the price down, but this is definitely the better engine for sure. Has Subaru CVT been upgraded over the past years? I drove a few models in the past and they felt sluggish. Also, does the new model feel more like an automatic transmission than a CVT? I wouldn't say it feels like an automatic, but I think that the CVT that Subaru does is better than most. Like some brands do a good CVT. I would say a Honda CVT is pretty good. Yeah. Subaru CVT. But you have a wider range because it is a continuously variable unit of ratios. So like right out of the pocket, it's snappy. It's snappy. Um, I don't find it as loud as some CVTs. I agree with you, Zach. It's a good one. Also, the fuel economy is yeah, very good on this. Good. Whether you get the 2 liter or you get this 2.5 liter engine, it's very good. And that is the CVT at play. I used to have one. It was a 2014. I absolutely loved the versatility and capabilities of that vehicle. However, there was little to no sound dampering in it. So conducting a call on the Bluetooth was nearly impossible. My question is, has Subaru added any sound dampening technology? And if so, what would the decibel level be at highway speeds? We don't know what the decibel is, but how what much, we can tell how you. How much do you want us to do in a video? <laughs> but what we can tell you is it is quiet. When we were doing our car to car, Zach and I were on the phone together to get the exterior I'm in, shot. I'm in the other car driving. And I even said to Andrew, are you still there? Hello? He couldn't believe how quiet it was. So that says something. Consumer Reports rates the quietness of vehicles and this Crosstrek takes first spot. In addition to that, they've upgraded the suspension to make it smoother over bumpy roads, which is going to bring less noise into the cabin. So if you want a comfortable, quiet and relaxed place to be, here you go. Is that it? 
That's it. Thank you so much for all your questions. We love interacting with all of you. Motor Keep mouth, them coming. Motormouth underscore Andrea. Get yours in. And now because you hear the music, it's time for nightlife. In every review, we keep one question from Questions Coffee and Cars and expand on it. It's our hot topic. What's this one, Andrea? I drove last year's model, felt like it barely had enough power to move. Has the new engine fixed things? Is there any chance they might bring the turbocharged engine? I don't think a turbo's in the cards, Andrea, because one of the main objectives with this vehicle is great fuel economy. And when we get to the vital stats in a moment, two things, the price and the fuel economy, that's what makes this attractive. Yeah, and it's quite incredible that the two liter and the 2.5 liter four cylinder have almost equal fuel economy. So it's a real winner in that regard. You know, Andrea, when my report cards were a kid says he's not trying hard enough, <laughs> he's not meeting expectations, that was my whole career at school. Poor Zach. And then that's exactly how I equate this. Now this has the right engine, it's meeting expectations, it gets an A. Yep, and you know what else? There's also a PHEV. It is only available in the US in this 2021 model, but I'm sure that we are going to get one in Canada and you're even gonna have better fuel efficiency. So I think that Subaru is on the right track here. Now there's quite a bit of competition in this category, so let's take a look. For your consideration, four vehicles for you to consider. First up is the Jeep Renegade 4x4. It has a 2.4 liter four cylinder engine with an eight speed automatic transmission, 180 horsepower, and a starting price of $29,500. Next is the Hyundai Kona all wheel drive with a two liter four cylinder engine and a six speed automatic transmission, 147 horsepower, and a starting price of almost $24,000. The Kia Seltos all-wheel drive has a two-liter four-cylinder engine with a CVT, 146 horsepower, and a starting price of just over $25,000. Next up, the Mazda CX-30 all-wheel drive. It's got a two-liter four-cylinder engine and a six-speed automatic transmission with 155 horsepower and a starting price of $26,000. So there are four small SUVs for you to consider. Now the thing about Subaru is it projects an image of itself out into the public and attracts the people that feel that same affinity. Yep. Kind of outdoorsy, like to do things on the weekend. It's the weekend warrior kind of car, but it also has to be a great everyday commuter. And I think they absolutely nailed it. It handles really well. It takes corners with ease. The turning radius is excellent, which we would expect from a smaller vehicle. I have really enjoyed it for city driving. We haven't done a ton of highway driving, but um, in the city, it's wonderful. Let's just talk a little bit about the second row and the cargo space. For this category, it's very good. It's super roomy back there in the second row. You see Zach sitting back there. He has enough headroom and legroom, and he is six feet tall. And on this outdoor trim, there's a light embedded into the lift gate. And we did mention the fuel economy and the price are key to the target audience for this vehicle. So let's get into the vital stats. Let's start with pricing. The two liter four cylinder engine with the manual transmission is just under $24,000 and with the CVT just under $26,000. The 2.5 liter four cylinder engine on this outdoor trim is just under 30,000 and the top trim is $34,500. JD Power gives the 2021 Crosstrek an overall score of 80 out of 100 and a quality and reliability score of 77 out of 100. Car Edge states the Crosstrek will retain 62% of its value after five years. Here's the fuel economy. With the base two liter engine, you get 8.5 liters per 100 kilometers in the city, seven liters on the highway. That's 28 miles per gallon city, 33 miles per gallon highway. With the 2.5 liter, not much difference. 8.8 .8 liters per 100 kilometers in the city and seven liters on the highway. That's 27 miles per gallon city, 34 miles per gallon highway. The cross truck can tow up to 1,500 pounds and has a three-year or 60,000 kilometer, 36,000 mile warranty. 
Now, one of the reasons this thing has been a smash hit is the outdoor trim specifically is priced to perfection. The pain threshold to buy a new car at roughly $30,000 for everything you see that we're driving today is perfecto. Yeah, really good value here on this outdoor trim. And I think that's all you really need unless you want that sunroof, you're going to have to go up to the top model. What I am most impressed about Subaru is the resale value on this Crosstrek to retain 62%. These are Toyota figures and it is ranked for year three, five and seven in the top 20%. This cross track with the outdoor trim for around $30,000, I don't really think that you're gonna find a better vehicle than this for the value. You put your money in, you're gonna get good value from Subaru, great resale as well. And once again, thanks to Dockstetter Subaru for letting us borrow this car for a couple of days. We sure do appreciate it. This video is brought to you by CarCost Canada. Get the dealer's cost, list of rebates, plus discounted interest rates. Use the promo code MOTORMOUTH to become an expert member and get extra searches. The link is in the description below.